In this video, I'm going to show you how you can figure out what expenses need to be paid between two salaries. Many houses or most houses have more than one salary coming in. And so you have two different uh, two different sets of pay periods in one uh, in one month. Now, I've done this before with one salary and I've had requests for having two salaries on here. So on the first on the first page, which is expenses, you list all your expenses and when they you need to pay them or when you would like to pay them. And then you have the first, so this is the first salary and this should be the most frequent. It should be the weekly or um, whatever. But the second one, now there's a drop down here for um, for weekly, bi-weekly and bi-monthly, but choose, choose the most uh, frequent pay period for the first one. And for the second one, um, the second person is paid bi-monthly, which is like the first and the 15th of every month. Now, also um, for the first period, the first pay period is September uh, September 2nd, and the first period for the, uh, the bi-monthly is the first, because he's there paid the first and the 15th. Now, um, I'll show you, so for here, what I have, I have this link to the first for the pay period. So this is equal to the expenses sheet F9 and it has you have to have the first pay period in here. Now when you clear um, when you clear the sheet because we're having two pay periods in here, you'll have to re-enter that if you if you clear it to start with. Okay, so first of all, let's run um, your first payday in here. So the first one is they're paid um, weekly and they're paid $800 a week. So let's first put the first pay period in here. So we got first pay period and there, there you have $800 a week. Okay, so now for the second pay period, they're paid on the 15th and or the first and the 15th of every month. So let's put the pay, second pay period in here. And um, as you can see here, what it's done is it's gone and it's put in in between all of the other pays it's put in your 15th and your first up for the month now the nice thing about this is that you can put your expenses in and um, you'll figure out how you're doing so look, let's put your expenses and this is from the list of expenses that we have on the first sheet okay so let's go to the top here now um, you can see that we're rolling along pretty good, except for now we're at the power bill on the 15th and we're, uh, or actually the car payment on the, on the 13th and we're negative. So now this is when you would um, have to play around with your, uh, the dates. You can change the dates here and rerun it so that everything is being paid properly. And if you keep going along here, you end up with a, a fair balance at the end. So, let me show you how I did this. I will, of course, include the code in the description video. I will also include um, a link to my previous one because I don't have enough room to put in the code for um, the first payday and the expenses. So I'll give you a link uh, to the other one, which has the first payday and expenses code in here. And I will just put in the second uh, pay period uh, code. So let's look at the code. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to F8 through my code so you can see how it's going to fit into the other the other dates. I've got the first pay period um, put in here already. So let's look at what the second pay period is going to do. So I'm going to F8 through that. And so I'm just declaring um, the pay amounts, pay date two and pay, pay date uh, pay amount from the uh, expenses sheet here. And pay frequency is one this from the drop down list. Okay, now the balance is row six or, or row plus six, so it's, so, so it's the F column. Okay, if active sheet cell is less than pay date two, so it's trying to find out if if this uh, if the pay date on the second on the second salary is is uh, greater than pay date two, then it's going to insert a row below, and if not, it's going to insert a row above. So let's go down here. 
And so now it's inserted a row above. And so now it's going to put in the pay date for the first pay date and pay amount. Okay, so now let's go down to, um, they have selected bi-monthly. And so we're gonna go to that, the bi-monthly here. And so I'm figuring out what day it is, um, what month it is, so that because they're paid on the 1st and the 15th. So if the, if the payday one is payday, if my payday equals one, then payday, the next payday is gonna be plus 14. So that's paid the 1st and the 15th. Okay, and so now what it's going to do is it's going to search for a date that is in that's in between the um, the one that it's on and the one above. Okay, so it hasn't found it yet, so it's going to keep going. It's trying to fit put in fifteen. So this should be it here, and so it's putting in um, the day of the pay, which is the fifteenth, and then it's putting in the pay. And so it's going to go through all of these and keep putting in the pay date and the pay for the um, for the rest of them. So that's how that works. And so now um, what I will do is I'll finish running this. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the top here and we're going to click on the expense button and we it's going to insert the expenses according to the date that you have on the expense sheet in between the two pay periods. And so there you can see that we have the expenses. So we have gas, we have taxes, we have car payment, we have power bill, we have gym membership, all in between there. And that's when we're getting to be negative. So you need to maybe figure around those dates and see if we can pay at different times to get there. And so that is how you can calculate when to pay your bills in between two salaries. Please subscribe.